Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cardinal Points Fishing. We're back at it again this morning. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We're back at it again this morning. Uh, it's been a while since I posted something, so here we go, man. Super stoked to be out here hitting the surf. Um, we're gonna see what we can catch. I got my little sand rake. We're gonna be catching some sand fleas, sand crabs, whatever you guys call them. Gonna be uh, trying to target, I'll just perch, hopefully some Corbina. But there's a lot of sand crabs out right now, so hopefully we can, we can catch some good stuff with that. And we're running a, right, a light line. We're running a four pound floral, so pretty light setup this morning. And yeah, super stoked to be out here. It's a little cold, gloomy, a little bit of a wind, overhead wind. It's uh, incoming tide, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, no real plan. We're just gonna see what happens. And yeah, man, super pumped to be out here. So yeah, let's get it. Ooh. Four pound fluoro, little sandworm. And this is like cracks these fish. We call it first cast. There's already getting hit. Right there. First go. Told you, first cast. Little walleye. Yeah. First walleye. Get this guy unhooked. I'm telling you, man, this sandworms are like crack for these fish. First walleye of the day, thank you, sir. A good one. Right there. Already hitting it. Look at that. There, another one. A little, a little bar surf perch. Second one, less than 10 minutes. <laughs> there you go, buddy.
It's taking me more longer to find sand crabs than to catch a fish. Darn it, I lost that one. That was a big one. Oh. Right there, it's getting hit again. That's a big one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. It's a decent sized one. Nice. I hooked them on the side. You got hooked on the side. Ugh. Hooked them on the gill. Look at that one. All right, Mr. Perch. There you go. I don't know how he got hooked on the side, but. <laughs> yeah, they're all hanging on this side right here. It looks like. The per oh, there we go. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> what the heck happened there? <laughs> uh, and a little small perch. Dude, you tangled up my line pretty good. There you go, another barred surf perch. I don't know what he did to my line, but here we go. See you later, dude. Ah. <sighs> Set the hook and I sent him launching. There's one more perch and that's it. I want a big one. But yeah, I'm using, uh, like I said, four pound fluoro on our Carolina rig with a sandworm. Just trying to look for some sand crabs, but the tide is too hot right now. But we got outgoing tide soon. I think probably by eight o'clock, we're looking at about, uh, actually, sorry, we have incoming tide. So by eight o'clock, we're looking at about a three foot tide, which is actually my favorite. Oh, here we go. My favorite tide to fish. There we go. 
Another little bar turf perch. Nice, look at that. It's a good little size one. Just gonna throw them in there. That. You don't miss a perch. Thank you, sir. I swear it's been like the weirdest, the weirdest spring. Gloomy, rainy, hot, cold. I don't know what's up with this. Oh, that's a that's a night. Oh, right there, got him. Got him. Fish on, baby. Oh, I lost him, dude. Oh, I lost him. Turn it. It's all good. Yeah, I'm thinking about hitting up, uh, hitting up some some lake or a forest, do some fly fishing for some trout. Might do that soon. Let's see if anything's. Hungry over here. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh. Well, the tide is just rushing in here pretty good. So, try for a bit and see what happens. Just gonna hook the crab. Just do that little insert right there. like that Try this side. Ah, man, the smell of ocean water, man. I will never, ever get over that smell. Oh. Oh, right there. The heck is that? Oh, it's a big perch. <laughs> nice little perch. He went right up to shore for that thing. Oh, he already got him hooked. Nice, nice little slab. 
thought that was a Corina because he hit right here in the front. There you go, bud. What the heck happened there, but I'm gonna keep on throwing this thing. Man, got sand in my reel. Never fails. Looks to me like that little perch might have drifted away from his group. It was a lone perch. Ooh, this is nice when the water just gets calm like this here. You got the Lucky Craft on, <clears throat> got the white sea bass. So hopefully something is hungry enough to hit this thing. Right there. Oh my gosh. Right there. Dude, what is that? It'll be a big old perch.
Holy smokes. That's a big old perch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, he smoked that thing. Freaking smoked that Lucky Craft. Ah. Get him over here. I'm gonna get in the water. Ooh, that's a good size perch. I'm gonna go crazy on me. That's a big old freaking perch. That thing was hungry. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh my God. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Look at that sucker. That was at least, at least 10 inches or so, but he smoked that thing. There you go, man. <laughs> On the lucky craft. Uh. We got my real all sandy. Earn it. Uh. All right. It's just a perch filled day. What a perch full day. Sick. But yeah, they're here. The big ones are hanging out right here at least. All right, you guys, so it's currently low tide and uh, we're gonna grab uh, some some sand crabs and then throw them in for some Corvina because I saw a good amount of Corvina in the inlet. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Let's get it. Got one right there. Got one on the on the rod. Got this one.
Oh, there's another one right there. Let me find a little bit more. There we go. Right here up in front. We go Woo. Oh, dude let's go baby let's go <laughs> yeah uh. A nice size little perch right there Perch, look at that guy. There you go, bud. All right, you guys, so that's all I got for today. Um, pretty successful little perch filled day i mean i was really after the corvina but i saw a couple of corvina down in that little inlet area they were looking for those sand crabs but man they were line shy they did not want to bite and so i mean it is what it is i don't even know how many uh perch we caught but we caught a ton and so yeah we tried for halibut for a little bit but wasn't really feeling the halibut there was a lot of pressure on the beach today that was another reason why i just decided to leave because there's a lot of people fishing and uh i'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to fish for halibut a bunch of people with the lucky craft and stuff so yeah man good day overall next video i hope to have the boat in the water like i said i gotta figure out what's going on with the boat it left me stranded in the middle of the harbor when I was going to go do some fishing on the break wall. And 
couldn't get it to turn back on. I replaced the replaced the carburetor. I adjusted everything pretty good. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with it. I think I might switch the fuel pump out. I don't know, but if anybody has a, any advice as to what I'm doing wrong or what could possibly be the problem. And it's weird because <clears throat> it runs fine when it's on the trailer, but when it's in the water, it just doesn't run anymore, which I, I'm like completely baffled. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what the heck is going on with that, but anybody that knows what's up, shoot me a, a comment on the, the comment section and, or give me a proper diagnosis or whatever, I'll pay you. So yeah, man, I don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, like always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a while. Uh, like I said, hopefully looking forward to posting a little bit more. The weather has been kind of weird. SoCal, been having a lot of windy days, windy mornings, rain. I mean, it, it's crazy out here. So yeah. I hope to be back on the water soon and give you guys some more content. So yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.